So you have now entered the mind of our chef in certain ways. And we mean that quite literally. This room is supposed to represent the inside of chef's mind. And while we, we explore his mind tonight, we have prepared a 25 course tasting menu in a modernist avant-garde of Spanish cuisine. Okay. We'll start off with smaller bites and then uh, the courses will gradually get bigger and then we'll taper off with some smaller bites and desserts. The first one is gonna be branches of the desert. The branch in the middle is actually a Kalamata olive branch. It has a little bit of piquillo puree and marigold petals. So these are white color sangria spheres. Uh, they're filled with three pieces of melon. Uh, they're completely liquid in the center. They're slightly carbonated and they're very oozy. So it's kind of like taking a shot. So with that, they do come with some direction. Uh, we just want you to pick them up with the wooden spoon and then roll them into your mouth. Seal your lips and apply pressure to the sphere using your tongue against the front and the roof of your mouth. Okay. They will pop or explode when I start they eat. So, For your first glass of the night, uh, this is going to be a sparkling wine from Spain, Cava. Uh, it's made with the two traditional grapes for Cava and Monastir, a uh, grape that adds a little hue of the pink and also strawberry and raspberry on the nose. This is a family who brought a sparkling wine to Spain, a uh, family grown tradition about 400 years making a sparkling wine. Right. So, yeah, hopefully no one else is opposed to truffle because we have a lot of people tonight. Okay, okay, Up next you have Spanish pizza. So this is going to be a little texture contrast from the last course, but this is made with Edi Alzabal cheese. We also have dehydrated tomato powder, a dehydrated Italian basil powder, and the black shavings on top of the pizza are Australian winter truffles.
uh, your Apple shape inside uh, there. Uh, Apple can yeah. and then a very yeah. I always recommend, as before, you stick a little seat. I have a feeling. I know where to see Okay, that's a good Yes, it's something. It's, yeah, it's that one hole is. Tortillita. So here's an on oyster cracker. We have a layer of fresh crema, royal sexual caviar, chai tip, and an onion blossom. Now, this is one of our more fragile products, so when you pick it up and bite it, it tends to fall and break on people's so caution. <laughs>
the last thing can be grabbed. It's just with a Spanish sofrito. And uh, this course does come with some direction as well. We want you to take one of these bottles of poison, pick one up and just pour it into the crab, and then sprinkle the little breadcrumbs provided on the spoon on the plate. In the middle is fluke, then you also have a salsa tinta, and then what we call Mediterranean flavors. Uh, but for this course, we do recommend uh, taking a piece of the fish with some of the black sauce and drag it through both the white and the green line. The white line is more for only cream, and the green line is edible, it's not part of the plate. It's going to be dehydrated Italian taste. Odium ribeye, tamahawk steak. Uh, the cut goes by many names, but this particular steak is going to be dry aged 60 days. And it's coming from a ranch right outside of El Paso, Texas. It's, so it's going to be a 60 day dry aged. So with this steak, we do get the whole primal. Yeah, especially in the summer. Yeah. I uh, recruited uh, cedar box, leather, uh, and slightly dusty. Spent two years in oak and another two years in battle before it's released in the market. Awesome. Enjoy it. Absolutely. So in the middle of the plate, we have a beef juice sauce uh, sitting directly on top of the sauce, a big square piece. And the steak is going to be the eye of the ribeye. And at the front and center, you have a piece of the flank. The little dice resting on top of the eye is going to be a piece of the rib. And then uh, the bigger piece resting on also the eyes can be a piece of the cap. And then uh, your steak is accompanied with uh, our version of the piece. Black truffle, beach mushrooms, uh, metake mushrooms, and a little time spray. Uh, for this course, we just do recommend trying uh, one of those new pieces with a spoon uh, before you try the fourth. Uh, that technique is uh, called reverse purification, and it's, uh, it's actually the same technique we use for the hobosphere in the beginning, uh, and then we also use it for the olives.
<laughs> For myself, uh, I enjoy all of that. Empanada. Uh, here you have a kind candy empanada filled with toasted coconuts and foie gras. You have cana de cabra. This is going to be your cheese course for the night. So, cana de cabra is going to be a goat milk cheese. You also have a hazelnut praline, a little bit of brown butter, and at the top is a cotton candy disc. Uh, for this course, we just do recommend pushing the cotton candy disc into the cheese. Give it a slight mix before enjoying it. Here you have Menjar Blanc. So this is a Marcona almond cream cloud and with elderflower toffee at the bottom and nitrogen frozen blackberries. And then it's surrounded in uh, what we call chocolate soil, but it's basically a dark cookie crumb. Yeah. This next little dessert course is called snowflake. So here you have a yogurt wheel. Underneath you have a crema catalana, a uh, reduced orange, and a yogurt snow. For this course, we do recommend just breaking that snowflake into the bowl to add texture to the dish. Top of these fans, uh, you have a assortment of chocolate tablets. Uh, the milk chocolate one is going to be dusted with sea salt and it's infused with saffron. And then uh, the red one is actually a raspberry chocolate tablet. And then on the left side of your fans, you have our yamita. That's going to be an orange custard coated in a manitoba candy shell. 
it's going to be a hard candy olive oil gummy rolled in a citrus sugar. And then on the right side of the fence, you have a white chocolate hair. It does stay There's a couple of different The I think so. I think it is.